Hi, this is Sadek from DudeForest.com. This is a video series for you about PSP session. In this video, I will talk about how you can secure your PSP session. In my last video, I showed you how how a hijacker can get access to your session IDs and use these session IDs to get access into other people uh, account or a session. Now I will create a layer, a session layer, so the extra layer for the session so that it is a little bit secured than the last one. Now let me show you. Let's create a new file. Name it to set.php. Before going to create the layer, layer, let me show you the normal one. Session start and simply session assign some value in this session. Okay. Um, simply echo session started now if you run this page okay the session is started <coughs> let me show you the console if you go to your cookies and domain, you will see this value and the domain name is localhost path is slash and then you can see the HTTP is blank and secure is also blank. So we need to work with these two because these two are really important. HTTP means that uh, the session or this cookie, uh, this cookie is only accessible via the HTTP request, not the JavaScript code and secure means that uh, this cookie is only accessible via the uh, SSL. I mean a secured socket layer connection now let me create this layer let's create a function call it session start all right five parameters lifetime I will explain this parameter uh, lifetime path domain secure and last one is HTTP only okay so before starting the session we need to set our session cookie how it should behave so session set cookie params so all lifetime let's pass this lifetime lifetime is uh, how long our session should be valid it should not be valid for in, an infinite amount of time it should be valid only a certain amount of time and path is simply uh, where this uh, session is valid within the domain and domain is your original domain name secure mean that whether this site is connected with the SSL and HTTP only means that uh, this cookie is not accessible via the JavaScript code so this is really important now you can start the session you're safe no need to call the session session start and pass the argument lifetime is zero meaning that uh, mean that the session is valid as long as the browser is open and path is simply the slash and domain is localhost so this session id or session cookie is cannot be manipulated from other domain and secure is false because we are not using any kind of ssl so it should be false and http only should be true although it should always be true okay now we can simply assign session let's keep it id to something like that and then simply equal session start okay and now see now you can see that our http is now tick and before using this code or uh, HTTP only uh, uh, this one was blank and now it is uh, 
in HTTP, meaning that uh, in the core session or this cookie cannot be accessed using the JavaScript code. Now, let me show you. If you simply try to access this using the JavaScript code like I did in my last video. Let's take a alert document.cookie. Now you will get a blank. Now look, look at that. You cannot access this uh, session ID right now, but you did it in your uh, in our last video, right? Now one last important thing which I need to tell you is that is SSL, which is really important. Now if we pass through here, meaning that this uh, cookie is only accessible via the secure socket connection. Now let's remove it. Um, then you will see there is no cookie available. I'm trying to uh, set the cookie and get the cookie uh, key using this uh, HTTP, not HTTPS. Now let me show you. This is this side has no cookies because I'm trying to set or get the cookie using HTTP. So this is why I'm getting uh, this one. No cookie set because I declared that my cookie is only accessible via the secured connection. Now if I change my URL to something HTTPS. Okay. Now you can see I have got the cookie. Okay. Now you can see our domain is localhost path slash session and HTTP is stick and security stick. Meaning that we 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 are able to get this cookie only using this HTTPS, right? So there are many method you can use like uh, regional regenerating the session IDs, but best of best is using the secure SSL. So it is only accessible via the secured connection. So let me show you. here look at that send for only this you will only be sent through a secure connection only right okay so in us in my in one of my later videos I will explain you what is an SSL and why do you need to use it okay thank you for watching this video and um, in my last video I will give you a PHP session class which you can use in your real life application and I'm not going to show you how to regenerate session IDs and use IPs because these are not highly recommended because it can create some troubles to you. So this is a good way uh, and standard way to set your cookie, right? So thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment your valuable feedback.